I'm Tanner Tomlinson. Today we're doing pro tips with Professional Choice. And right now we're doing some drills and some scoring tips because we're getting ready for the BFI. And biggest thing on this horse here is keeping his heart rate down. If his heart rate gets up, he gets a little antsy in the box. But we're just trying to score some coming off Austin and seeing them out at the BFI. Austin, you got to see Necro. BFI, you got to see them almost all the way out and chase them. So we're just going to do some scoring drills with him today. So the reason that I took off right there is we call that a live score. And a lot of you that don't know about that, it's something that anytime that you're scoring on a head horse or a heel horse, you want to do things realistic. And so like Tanner said, he's trying to work on this horse coming off of the rodeos and getting ready for the BFI, which is a really long score. And these head horses will get so calm when they know, you know that you're scoring. So I'm doing all I can do to trick him. So right there, when he nods, I take off because it'll amaze you how many head horses watch the heel horse and they don't move until the heel horse moves and then they know it's game time. So I like to make sure that when, especially when he's on his good horses that I take off. And as far as heel horses, you know, every horse is different, but this horse is really good in the box. He gets a little tense and anytime he does, I'll let him just ease forward when we score and just teach him to stay flat, calm. But right now we're working on the head horse. So I'm trying to give him a realistic go make that horse understand that when Tanner's pulling on him he needs to stay no matter what the heel horse does I'm gonna score with him on this one For example, if you just sit in the box, like Patrick was just talking, if you just sit here and chill, don't have your reins up, rope up or nothing, and Patrick just sits there, most of the time they won't even flinch because they know you're not about to run the steer. See? So, biggest key is to make sure you're scoring like you're running the steer every time. That way it's more, it's more realistic. That's one of the biggest things, mistakes that I see scoring in lower number gropers is they get everything ready, their legs are tense, they're pulling on the reins when they're actually making a run and then when they score, they'll do exactly like, they'll do exactly like Tanner was saying, they'll just sit. When they, when they don't do it right, they'll sit completely quiet, loose reins, relaxed legs, and the horse knows you're not about to go. So they're smarter than that. So like Tanner said, make sure you're realistic. As you can see from the beginning, we started scoring. I ran five back to back and I ain't got to score on him much. And now that his heart rate's getting down and we're scoring some and he's getting to catch his breath and how he's scoring a lot better now. At Professional's Choice, the more comfortable the horse, the better the performance.